Hey guys, Aris, Hardware Busters. Today we have a PSU from XPG. This is the Pylon 750. The OEM is CWT and the platform that XPG used is CSB-A. Efficiency, Cybernetics Silver and 80 plus bronze. Noise, Cybernetics Standard plus plus. It is not a modular PSU, all cables are fixed. Dimensions compact, only 140mm depth. Price $93. Warranty 3 years. Power specifications it has a single 12V rail and it can deliver its full power on this rail alone. On the minor rails it can deliver up to 120 watts. Cables and connectors it has two EPS connectors on the same cable though, which is a bummer. It also has 4 PCI Express connectors, 8 SATA, 3 4 pin Molex and 1 Berk connector. Cable length and distance between them. All cables are long with 150mm distance between the peripheral connectors so everything is fine here. There are no in-cable caps. Internal design and build quality. The build quality it's good enough. Uh, regarding design now, the design of the platform, it uses a double forward topology on the primary side and a semi-synchronous rectification on the secondary side for 12V and a pair of DC-DC converters handle the minor rails. Caps and fan manufacturers. The caps are from Elite. Elite is a very good brand when you don't want to spend lots of money on caps and you cannot go with Japanese caps. And the fan is from Hong Hua. The bulk capacitor is by Chemicon KMW line and 105 degrees Celsius rating. Protection features. OCP 12 volt and overpower protection are correctly configured. However, OCP on the minor rails is set high, hmm, pretty high. Normally it should be set within 130% of the maximum output current. Lastly, uh, over temperature protection is present and reasonably set. This is a very good thing, of course. Hold up time. Bad news here. Notably lower than 17 milliseconds. At least the power case signal is accurate and this is something. In as current, it is high with 230 volts input. The PSU needs a larger NTC thermistor and by the word larger I mean higher resistance NTC thermistor to have lower inrush currents especially with 230 volts. Average efficiency it's quite high for this category's standard always. Average PF it is also high the APFC converter does a very good job even with 230 volts input. 5VSB efficiency, it is at high levels. Average noise output, it is close to 30 dBA, so you cannot call this PSU noisy. Overall performance, it is not so high because of the increased ripple at 12 volt and the not so tight load regulation on this rail as well. But still you cannot call it as a low performance unit. It does quite well given this category's standards again. Bottom line, the XPG Pylon with 750 watts max power uses a solid CWT platform which combines all the design elements with newer ones offering decent performance while keeping the production cost low and this is what matters the most here. The major upgrade for this platform over the older double forward platforms is depicted on the DC-DC converters used to generate the minor rails. This allows for better cross-load performance where the loads among the rails are highly unbalanced. For the standards now of this category, the Pilon 750 performs decently and it is only about half percent below the Cooler Master MWE Bronze 750 which uses a modern platform with half bridge, LLC, synchronous notification for 12 volt and DC-DC converters for the minor rails. With lower ripple now and tighter load regulation at 12 volt, the overall performance will be vastly improved. Another good choice in this category is the Corsair CX750. Now, if you are not so fond of fixed cables, I'm not, 
You can also take a look at the Thermaltake Smart BM2750 which uses a semi-modular cable design. Despite the low-end parts, Thermaltake's unit achieves higher relative performance mostly because of the lower ripple at 12V. These two units, the Thermaltake BM2 and the Pylon, use exactly the same platform but XPG actually use some higher end parts in its PSUs. Pros deliver at full power at 40 degrees Celsius, efficient at light loads, tight enough load regulation on the minor rails. Properly set OCP at 12 volt and over power protection is also properly set. Effective APFC converter, good build quality, not noise operation, FTB fan, two PS connectors but on the same cable and four PCI Express connectors, long cables, adequate distance between the peripheral connectors, compact dimensions and low EMI emissions. And the cons, two PS connectors on the same cable, this is a bummer, mediocre transient response and especially a 3.3 volt rail, load regulation could be tighter at 12 volt, ripple at 12 volt should be lower at high loads, high inner currents with 230 volt input, lower than 17 milliseconds hold up time, no modular cables, high OCP triggering points on the minor rails and the fan speed profile needs a bit of tuning. This was another PSU review from Hardware Busters, stay tuned for more, subscribe to our channel, share this video if you liked it, bye bye!